Sorry, I got scared. Get ready for a story of bravery, determination, and a touch of crazy. Welcome to the sequel of the Great Siberian Sushi Run, made famous by three Nordhavens in 2009. Our three-step plan is to follow in their footsteps, but this time in a 1969 aluminum trawler. Step one was to get an affordable boat, which meant a fixer-upper. Tangaroa was built in 1969, and when we got her, she was in rough shape, which meant she needed a massive refit before our attempt to sail her to Japan. Step two is underway, fixing her up, and step three starts the summer of 2025. Our journey from Victoria to Alaska to Siberia and Japan will be off the beaten track. There will be bad weather, tricky waters, and things we can't predict. And we're sharing it all on camera. The good, the bad, and the downright ugly. Subscribe, as it's going to be a wild ride. So this has been a while. Like 20 years. But don't get mad at me. I still remember everything. I'm going to go diving on Tangroa, check out the bottom, um, and help Blaine on our time. Right there, and I have to do what on the on our time? Oh, we're pulling out a speed uh, depth transducer, so we just need to put a new paddle wheel in. So we're just just gonna have somebody block the hole to keep as much water from coming in. Basically, I'm going in the water to block a hole. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, so what is expected of me? I need to know. She needs to know. No, what happens, Chris, is if I get in trouble, I'll drop my weight belt and I'll post pop to the surface. I'm quite buoyant right now with wetsuit and everything on. But the big jellyfish just passed, so we just gave her the jellyfish. The jellyfish. You're going to laugh right now. We're on the search for Vaseline. Nobody has Vaseline on their boat. We're like, will lube work? <laughs> It's just for the O-ring on the regulator. I don't know if it will work. <laughs> you have to get some Vaseline on this boat. Okay, so I'm in the water. I'm gonna slow my breathing down because it's been so long, I'm a little bit nervous, but not a problem.
first dive in a while. And then it was time to go underneath Chris and Dave's boat our time. My whole job was to take a piece of board and hold it up against the through hole for the transducer. Blaine was going to try and replace the transducer from the inside. We were going to communicate with each other by knocking. But I have to tell you, it was very hard to hear and I got a little bit scared. Sorry, I got scared. But I couldn't hear you and I didn't want to make a lot of water go in their boat. That was the problem. I felt like I had to push up and I was sinking more. So this is scary. The last time I actually went scuba diving, actually the second last is I actually got caught in an airplane and uh, yeah, I got caught in an airplane. A blade had to come and get me, so it's a little bit of a eh. So it's really trying to get over that fear again. But I'm okay. It's just slowing down the breathing, so I don't breathe so much air. But I was exerting myself under there, trying to hold this board up against there, and I couldn't hear blade knocking. So we're gonna sort that shit out. So the little paddle wheel's jammed, we can't get it out. So we're gonna wait till you're hauled out. You can get it out because it's brittle and we don't want to break it, because that would really suck. Okay, well I'm gonna go swim the port side of our boat back okay. and slow down my breathing, get used to this again, and then get some video, and then I'll meet you back on this sort platform, okay? I'm not carrying that with me. We'll pick that up later. Hey, Chris, did you hear what I'm doing? Okay. If you're wondering, that's what we've been fiberglassing. Right there, working on that stuff. Looks good, actually. Don't worry, I can't see right up your shorts. <laughs> A little bit in the water because it was clanking so much. Okay. Oh, there's people right there.
We're having an issue with getting in the mood. <laughs> I want to go grind. I got to get in the mood. And Blaine should go work on rails. But sometimes we're just tired. We have to go do it because he's got friends coming over this weekend on Saturday night. A lot of friends and he wants the rails done by then. So he should put on some music and get motivated. I'm thinking he should crank some country music. What do you guys think? That will not motivate me. That won't motivate you? No. Okay, what type of music will motivate you? Uh, I don't know. My, my likes list. It's got all sorts of stuff. Well, let's do it then. Country. Let's do it. But we've got whale watching boats in the harbor and I don't see a whale. I don't know what they're looking at. I know they're filming a movie over there, but I don't see a whale that everybody's looking at. There's boats following, so maybe there's a humpback in here. I don't know. This boat's funny. They just came in. They picked up that mooring, which is just a Danforth, and then they asked to raft up to us. <laughs> Blaine and I were just, no, we just had Kristen and Dave rafted up to us all week, and we just didn't want anybody rafted up to us, so we kindly said, not this time. But now we're looking for a whale that everybody's looking for. Nah, I don't know. I never heard one. Usually I hear them first. Look! Oh yeah! Pop orcas. Woo! <laughs> That's amazing. I can't believe how much the whales are coming into the bay here. I'm so blessed to live in this place. Like seriously, I kind of wish Blaine was here, but no, it's just me and Maggie checking out the whales <laughs> and Maggie barking to try to rescue me and save me. But, but absolutely stunning. Good morning. We are back doing real time. So what exactly are we doing here? We've got to get this next big panel and lift it over the rail and into place and then I've got to drill and put screws in. On the port side? Port side. And right now it's sitting on the starboard side? Yep. How are we going to do that? Good old brute force and ignorance. <coughs> Where's the suction cups? Outside. Okay. Already, already installed. Hold on. Where am I going to put you so you can catch me falling overboard as I move this? There we go. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna switch sides. I gotta switch sides too. 
Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Oh! You okay? Yep. I think I'm stronger than Blaine. Oh, oh, going outside. I have to go outside here. I have to go outside in that next group there. Let's go outside the next one. Yeah, usually. That was hard. Okay, give me one sec. I got to measure the other side. But I'm here yeah. and I'm holding everything. We've, we've tied that off to the suction cups, and I know we're putting a lot of faith in suction cups. <sighs> you that? Yep. I think we can actually move it with. Too big of a drill. We need another bit. Our drill bit. Yep. The Walt, not bad for drills or for tools, but they've got the worst drill chucks known to man. Drill chucks or drill bits? Drill chucks. Oh. Means their their battery powered drill chucks don't hold very well. Ah. Or at least that's my personal experience. Mm, get on there. He's so tiny. I don't usually have that much problems with my nuts. <laughs> it's way too early for nut jokes, Blaine. Never, way too early. Never too early for nut jokes. Oh my gosh. Back by one more time. I should give you a bin with everything in it. You just carry your bin back and forth. Way, way too organized. Oh, hang on. We're under the... Under the... Oh yeah, we are. That's better. Izzy woke up. She's not happy I made her wake up to do dishes. I'm not happy with me. She has to do dishes before she goes to work though because she didn't do dishes last night. <laughs> Oops. Not, not great drill bits. <laughs> that whole drill bit just snapped. Oh, that's crazy. I've never seen a drill bit snap like that. <laughs> you snap a lot of drill bits? I snapped four the other day. Oh, no wonder we're going through drill bits. I feel like I might have to go to shore and get Blaine drill bits and chips. We have a whole bunch of people coming on board tonight. Hey, try this again. It's always fun taking the plastic off, eh? Yeah, I gotta take it off. For I gotta mark the uh, bottom edge for trimming, and when I'm cutting it with the plastic on, the, the plastic with my mark starts to come off. So. Oh, that's not good. Doesn't work very well. No. So, you happy with this? Uh, yeah, it's actually not as bad as I thought. Um, it's just I made the bow too heavy on the bottom. Yeah. So, I've gotta trim away the middle of it. Oh, does that mean you gotta take everything off and I gotta come by and we gotta take it on and off and on and off? You shouldn't have to take it on and off. You probably just have to do it once. Oh, okay. Because I can measure how much I'm off by and just kind of okay. rough it in. Last time he was grinding it down and like it was on off, on off, on off. I think we did it about 10 times. Yeah, I, think, I think it'll be maybe just a once on this one. Ow. Ow. You're getting old. That's what happens when we buy a boat that needs a complete refit in your late 40s, early, my early 50s. <laughs> okay, his late 40s, my early 50s. Oh, all right. Next. Look at this, it's up. It's been three hours later. It's that? been one week since you looked at me. Okay, one week, now I got that song in my head, Blaine. 
Okay, are we ready for round two? Actually, this will be round four. Take off those seat clamps, baby. This is a hard one. This is a hard one. Yeah, I'm hoping it just fits. Even if it's just temporary, just I'm hoping it can be bolted into place. So Blaine has invited a whole bunch of car people over. I think there's 70 people coming and I think he's picked them all up in the dinghy. I don't think I've ever had that many people on board our boat, like in a planned event, except for like Krista's wedding, which was like three years ago. Um, the good thing about having people over, <laughs> it makes us clean our boat. It makes us straighten everything up. But look, here he comes. I think there's even another dog coming. I'm not going to record though, because we're just going to have a good time and we're going to put the camera down. But uh, yeah, here we go. Dinner party on board Tangaroa. On fire! You're the barbecuer, not me. You just move the stuff off of the direct fire. Too much juice. Is that what that is? Fix it! The Smokies are if too If not, juicy. we're serving all your guests black Smokies. Cajun black and Smokies? Yep. I don't even know which ones are the regular ones now, which ones are Cheddar Smokies. This might be a surprise. All we know is those are turkey. Um, Blaine, yes. I don't know if that's supposed to be on fire. No, probably not. I mean, it'll burn out of You lit it on fire. I'm just moving it. <laughs> but that. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get it out from under here because it's getting a lot of black everywhere. Well, just close it. Excuse me. Put it back and just close no, it. You're, so you're going to move the, the... Yeah, so somewhere where it's oh not gosh, in the middle of my deck here. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? What exactly! Is... Oh, no. Blaine! Well, that's worse. It's tipping out the back. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I guess we need to clean that. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, Seriously. <sighs> I told them not to move the barbecue. Did you see what was happening in here? I don't give a shit. I could have washed that. Now look. Of our teak. Eh, it'll wash out. We'll just sand it. It'll sand out. <laughs>